A2. Uh, Strovo. Day two, when 48 hours remaining. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how long this game is. I've never finished a journey. Trust you slept well. We should head to the border, and don't don't forget to pick a route before we cross. All right. Okay. So today we are traveling through uh, Magya Warskog. Hmm. To from Storovo to Leteni. All right, so there's a long route, another long route. I think this symbol means that it's a dirt road, but it's the shortest route. I just want to get there, so. Okay. Okay. Here we are. Okay. They ask you not to bring wine across this border. I can provide with that. Uh, right. So we grab a passport and uncle's passport. Pass these over. Okay, let's see here. Okay, everything seems in order. Thank you. And on to the bridge. Look at this bridge. Sun's rising off to the west or east, or to our left. I guess we're going <laughs> south. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, the sun rises <laughs> in the left each day. <laughs> uh, it, it rises on the left today. I can't talk about every day. Uh, da -da. Some may rise in the east and least to settles in a funny location. Understood that Hollywood sells California cation. What song is that? Californication by Red Hot ah. Chili. Ah, okay. And it's the line Californication. <laughs> gotcha. I, I didn't parse it because I didn't think. I've never heard the song, so I didn't know anything. I didn't know what it sounded like. Space uh, may be the fine frontier, but it's made in the Hollywood basement. <laughs> Little girl from Sweden dreams of silver stream portation. And if you want these kind of dreams, it's California Cation. Cool. Another border crossed. I know it's tempting to import banned goods for the blue curve profit, but our journey would be much simpler if we stuck to the rule. If we sticked to the rules.
I'm in favor of simplicity. Seems like a good idea to me. So you may notice that in the map I've marked some routes with a funny car icon. This is just to let you know the conditions of the road for that route. There's three different road condition types. Fine, fairly poor, and really poor. Fine meaning there's no potholes, fairly poor meaning there's some potholes, and really poor meaning there's lots of potholes. For some countries, road condition will also mean whether the road is built from tarmac or dirt. Steep, steep hill. It's an excellent little car, but it is uh, takes a minute to climb a hill. Maybe two. not the direction the road went. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I think, I think uh, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, uh, you may be in trouble. I, 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 I think I'm going to slow down uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. None of the tires will burst and uh, we're still moving. So, so, pay no attention to the steam coming out from under the hood. Everything's fine. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> because it's just your uncle. Yeah. going off-road again? Potholes are to be avoided at all costs, okay? Just hitting one could be enough to pop your tires. Driving with a flat tire is really not advisable. Alright. Alright, 
we're hopefully getting close. Another thing with tires. You'll find all kinds of compounds and tire types on your journey. Softer compounds, for example, offer better grip, but wear down faster. Likewise, harder compounds will offer poorer grip, but a significantly reduced wear rate. I haven't seen a lot of scavengeable materials so far. But hey, maybe we'll get lucky. Uh, whoop! Uh, I'm guessing that was actually just me. Yeah, no, that's just a piece of dirt. <laughs> Surely that trail of smoke is not the smoke that left by, not a trail left behind my, my car. I, I'm going to pretend that that's definitely the case. Oh, yes. Yes, everything's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. fine. Should be Latin yeah, ahead. As usual, let's find a Mattel to sleep at and visit the market if there's time. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be visiting the market because. I would quite like this car to be in a little bit better condition. Come time to. I mean, I'd like this not to be breaking down just a little bit. Be nice. There's the Leica dealership. If you had a lot of money, you could you could upgrade. Okay, there's the motel. Oh, I guess everything's on that one road. Yeah, there's there's the shop. It's right across the street from the dealership. If we had a lot of spare money, I'd buy, like, uh, something from the dealership, but we do not, so that's not going to happen. Let's see what the situation looks like. You know, I don't know if I feel like washing the car if it's if we're going to be going on such roads. Okay. 
Okay, things look a little bit broken under the hood. I think I might want to do some repairs while I'm here. Could be good. Fuel. oil. I could buy some off-road tires. Meh. No. I'm gonna buy a couple of repair kits and then fix the car with them. And that'll probably be close to the limit of my funds. Because we have not gotten a ton of supplies on the road so far. real quick. Let me check the condition on these tires. Two of three. Okay. Two of three. All right. Those will hold up for a little while. We can, we can think about replacing them next leg. some repairs, we will mix some oil into the fuel. items into the car. I'm going to wash the gunk off the windshield at least. That affects how well we can drive. Okay, so, uh, right, journey so far has been very muddy, and we 
we have not had we haven't been able to salvage a ton of supplies but we've managed to keep ourselves going which is which is the important part Okay, good. Let's check in. All right. We have 60 to uh, 60 plus whatever we find tomorrow. So let's hope we find some good stuff. Especially because motel prices are going up. No, no. It's 25 here. 1A just down the hall. Right. myself straight over the the uh, foot of the bed into into the bed 